Hi guys, so just as I was closing up for tonight, this uh, notification came on my screen. It says that um, the UK Internal Market Bill has cleared its first hurdle in the House of Commons. So it's it's um, Boris Johnson has his first victory under his belt. It's 340 votes to um, to 263. The that's a majority of 77. But you have to also remember that there were many abstentions, so many um, members of his party, uh, from what we can see so far, have abstained. Now, who they are, um, we don't have data yet, probably as news uh, trickles out from uh, the House of Commons, we'll be able to see who voted for Boris Johnson, who abstained and who voted against him. Now, what is this all about? Well, I'm going to speculate here, and I could be completely wrong here, but I could also be right somewhat. I think this is all a distraction. Now, you have to remember that at the moment, the Brexit negotiations are still taking place between the UK and the EU. Michel Barnier, David Frost, they are still negotiating a trade deal. Now, it's not going very well at the moment. Boris Johnson wants some concessions from the EU. The EU are not willing to give these concessions. He has tried to pressure the EU into giving concessions and the EU has have rejected those, um, those threats. So what I think now what Boris Johnson is doing, and I think this, of course, is being manipulated behind the scenes by Dominic Cummins. What Boris Johnson is attempting to do now is to create a distraction. The, the talks are not going very well. He's not getting what he wants. He's trying to ask for, uh, for concessions that he's not getting them. He knows he's in a weak position. So what does he do? He needs to create a distraction. This distraction will serve a purpose later on. So what does he, how can he make a distraction? Well, say that he's going to break international law. I don't think, I think this is just a distraction. I don't think he's actually going to go through with breaking international law. Um, but what, why a distraction? So the distraction is to take the media focus off the negotiations that are going very badly for the UK and focus it on something else. And that's exactly what has happened. We're all talking about the internal market bill, how it's going to break international law. And that's, of course, a very important thing to talk about. But I think what Boris Johnson is doing is he's attempting, and this is speculation once again, he's going to create this distraction. He's going to go back to the negotiations, tell the EU, look, we'll do whatever you want. We'll just give me a bare bones deal. Then he returned to Parliament later on with this bare bones deal. And uh, this legislation probably will not have, you know, um, arrived, you know, to the to be enforced at any stage. It, it will not even maybe have arrived in the House of uh, Lords at this stage, you know, to be signed th into law, this uh, internal market bill. It will be abandoned. It will be ignored because Boris Johnson will have his trade deal. So what will happen is this whole internal market bill will have been a distraction to allow Boris Johnson to go to the European Union, agree anything, a bare bones deal, return to Parliament and say, I have achieved peace in our time. I have defeated the EU. Look at how I challenged the EU. I was threatening to break international law to defend the Union, to defend Northern Ireland. The EU backed down and they gave me a deal. Now, this is my hypothesis. I don't know if it's true. I, it could be completely false. Um, but it would make sense. And it would make sense from Dominic Cummins' point of view. Dominic Cummins has demonstrated that he's very good at manipulating the public. He's very good at convincing people to vote against their own interests. So this, of course, would be right up his street distract the public, go get your bare bones deal, then return and say that you got a fantastic deal because of that distraction. Of course, they wouldn't call it a distraction. They would call it a, an attempt to corner the EU, to, dis, to um, defeat the EU. At the end, 
I don't think Boris Johnson cares about a deal. He doesn't care about the EU. He doesn't care about the UK. He wants to stay in power. And this would, in the eyes of the public, be a great victory for him. But I think people who know Boris Johnson and who have been following him would understand it would not be a victory. It would be a defeat for the British public. They would be paying the price for this. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?